Well, good morning and welcome to this webinar where we're going to take a look at Vector, the sales solution which combines CRM and sales analytics. So my name is Clive Byrne, I'm the Group Marketing Manager. In a minute, I'm going to hand over to Michael. He's our UK and Ireland Business Development Manager. But firstly, just me, let me explain a couple of little points. First of all, you're all muted. Um, there will be a chance to ask questions at the end, so you just key those into the control panel and go to our webinar. And also, I'll send you a recording afterwards. So I'm conscious of time. Literally, we've got about five minutes. So with that, I'll just hand over to Michael. Thanks, Clive. So just to give you another example of this flexibility, if I just open the login for Paul King, one of the salespeople from the previous management dashboard, you can now see I'm presented with something much similar. First of all, it's given me access to my territory, telling me exactly what I've got to do today, and if I want to see what I have scheduled for today, all I have to do is click on that number, and it's given me a full list of the tasks. And I can see the notes behind that. And if I click on it, it will take me through to the actual detail. And if I want to contact this customer, simply by choosing my contact and saying display the contact details, all information about that customer, including phone number, email addresses, and so on, will be displayed on the screen. If I go back to my home page, the idea is that I would work through the things I have planned for today. And when I've done that, Vector gives me some summaries of where else I might want to go in order to find business. So I might want to speak to my growing account and make appointments. I've got direct access to them here. I might want to look at the other opportunities or campaigns that exist for my particular customers. And again, if I want to see the customers that are buying uh, paper but no printer supplies, simply clicking on that will take me to those clients. And again, simply by clicking on the client name, it will take me through to that client's contact details. Very easy to use, very intuitive, and all aimed at productivity. So, just switching back quickly to a management dashboard, I want to just quickly show you how we can go from analysis to action from any piece of information that's displayed. So if I choose my customers, for example, and I'm looking at my customers year to date versus last year to date, and I open that inquiry, I may simply want to look at the clients that are most down in spend against last year. So simply by clicking on the column header, it will sort the variance. And you can see here that I'm looking at my clients most down. And I'm going to use the Pareto law, identifying those customers that are responsible for the most of the drift this year. And simply by highlighting those and clicking new task, it will allow me as a manager to create tasks and delegate them directly to the team. So here, I'm going to choose the ability to auto-assign. So Vector will know what account manager owns each of those accounts. And here, I can simply put a message. Call these customers and arrange a meeting to discuss downturn. And simply by clicking save, I can delegate that it's got so gone into everybody's diary. It's sent my sales team an email to explaining that I've just done some analysis and given them an action, and then they can follow that through. Of course, what you will find once the uh, your sales team are using Vector is that they have that information to hand on their own dashboards, and they will and should already be dealing with it. So that was just a quick overview. Dashboard flexibility, turning analysis into actions, and we'll explore more on the next session. Thanks, Michael, for a good overview. We've actually got a couple of questions, so let me just read out the first one. So this is from Steve. So can you use Vector with smartphones? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, Vector's platform independent, so all mobiles, Windows, Android, uh, iPhones, across the board. Thanks for that. And there's another one for Mike. Um, so this question is, why Vector? I've heard that Salesforce is also very good. So... <laughs> Salesforce is good. Uh, it's a CRM application. Uh, Vector has all of that CRM uh, functionality, but where Vector differs, it combines it with this business analysis as well. And this is absolutely invaluable when uh, somebody in the distributive trades is using a CRM application, where it's not enough just to manage new business in pipelines, which Vector does very effectively, but what you really want is to bought immediately if the customer starts to buy elsewhere. And that's something you just can't get from Salesforce. Thanks, Michael. 
Well, I'm conscious of time, so if you do have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, but as I said, this has been recorded. So what I'll do, I'll send you all a, an email. You'll have that later today uh, with a link to the recording. So with that, thanks everyone for joining the call and for taking some time out of your day.